A group of 30 progressive Democratic lawmakers have urged the Biden administration to release publicly the recipe and other relevant information related to a vaccine that has been developed by Walter Reed. And what's going on here is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we learn that scientists over at Walter Reed developed a new vaccine for COVID that works against all variants that they believe is going to work against all variants. It is not an mRNA vaccine. So the people watching this show who are panicked about that technology be like, oh, interesting. All right, here we go. Uh, so it is, it is developed fully by the government. And so what the progressive lawmakers are saying is that, look, the people funded this, people around the world should benefit from it. And that equity, vaccine equity can be produced through this. If you look at the map of uh, you know, who has been vaccinated and who hasn't, you have this giant spot in, in Africa, where now in, in South Africa, you don't have a problem with vaccine access, it's vaccine hesitancy. A lot of other places in Africa, there just isn't, isn't access to it. And f these pharmaceutical companies, because they are profit driven, prefer to give as many boosters as they possibly can to the rich countries who are then, it's free for us, but the government is reimbursing right. them, insurance companies reimbursing them for a, a lot more than they would get uh, if, if they're vaccinating a poorer country. And despite the fact that we spent billions of dollars on Operation Warp Speed, we have, we have yet to give the waiver over so that the patent rights can be uh, shared around the world. So what they're saying here is, okay, we fully built this one. There's no line that anybody snuck into a contract anywhere with Moderna or with yeah, Pfizer. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds, yeah. sure. Sure. Do it, right? If the U.S. government uh, came up with this, yeah, there's there's no reason not to uh, not to share it. Uh, I hope it works as well as they say it does. Um, you know, I the early promises about the other vaccines didn't right. quite all pan out either, right? We were told it was going to stop. It was you know 95 percent whatever effective at halting the spread, and you know maybe it was against the initial strain. Certainly isn't now. So we'll have to see how effective it actually is. But if it is, that's great. I, yeah. That would be ideal. We want a one purpose vaccine for everything, especially for, you know, for distributing to, to the third world. Just get some baseline of protection uh, would be terrific. And yeah, we should absolutely do that. And I, I was making fun of the mRNA thing earlier, but it, it is technology that is experimental, right. or that has been experimental over the last 10 years. And had, and had one of its original architects is, is now warning the world against. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't agree Which, with I mean, Malone. I'm talking about uh, Malone, uh, and I look. I don't. I, I've listened. I have listened to him. I don't agree with yeah. what he's saying, but you can't. You can't write him off as someone who has no idea what he's talking about. He you know, he did pioneer the technology. He was involved in it for sure, and yeah. he knows a lot more. Significantly about Significantly involved. Yeah. yeah. So this 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 gets back closer to the kind of vaccines that people have been comfortable with. Now the question becomes, would the world and would the public trust something produced by the military? Because it's literally made, made by military yeah, that is the issue. researchers. It's like, oh, mm. yeah. I mean, I, the, you know, as long as it's as long as it's I run trust through our corporations more than our governments. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I'm I'm probably the only one in this conversation who does. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It does, it puts it puts some on the right in an awkward position because a they're you know deeply skeptical of the government the right yeah yeah but right. many on the right are but also very military friendly to the military anti government pro military right yeah. but then again many people in the military the, are anti government and pro military yes. <laughs> but then again the military is uh, is socialism like it, you know the the mil and you know the, the VA and the military itself are you know pretty much pure expressions of kind of a, the way you'd set up, you way you set up a socialist government right like, pu fully publicly funded hierarchical not democratic and so uh, the, all of these contradictions are just like swirling in people's heads as, as they're thinking about this. But uh, I, yes, I think the basic point is this. Publicly funded, the public ought to have full access to it at cost. Sure, absolutely. And then people can decide for themselves. Again, yeah. not, mandate, man, right. not mandating it. Do what you want. Does, it, does this vaccine have a, have a fun name yet? What do we call this one? We could, the Pfizer, the Moderna, what, the the, Walter, what are we going to call it? The Walter the, the, the Reed vaccine? Walter Reed, that, like that. That. that doesn't. No. Well, the, the, so SPFN is the, which stands for spike ferritin nanoparticle. So it, because it, it focuses specifically on this, on the spike protein. Uh, so SPFN, I guess, is the, sh the mrna SPF is sunblock, Ryan. Name. Sunblock. Right, SPF, give me the 70. <laughs>
<laughs> Other people are like, no, I'll take the five. You know, you look get like little... you burn e easily <laughs> yes. as I do. So, uh... yeah, yeah, give me, yeah, give me the fifty <laughs> for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe the spike, call it the spike, um, call it the spike. But I think they should run it uh, through through tests with the Cupid vaccine, whichever one does better, and then we can uh, celebrate e each uh, public, e you know, each of our nation's public researchers have like. You know, because the you know people always say, well, if you have if if you don't have competition, then nobody's just gonna nobody's gonna care about anything, and nobody's gonna produce anything. Competition but, is good; it is an important. So it can be Cuba versus the U.S. In terms whoever, of whoever whoever makes a better vaccine, because Cuba's got its own yeah. homegrown vaccine. Well, everybody has their own. Yeah. India has didn't, their own. Didn't vaccine, some guy in uh, Germany make his own vaccine and like inject himself with so, it? No, someone in the U.S. Actually, I <laughs> so I, I met this person at a conference I was at very recently. Uh, he he uh, yes he created his own vaccine. It's based on the same technology as the Indian vaccine the, for, the, 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 mm -hmm. for the country of India. And he injected himself with it. And he said he hasn't gotten COVID yet. <laughs> uh, but go. then the government, uh, so we actually at-, at uh, and He's alive, because you met him. Yes, no, I met him, he's doing great. <laughs> He's a, no, he's actually he's a very interesting. He's a brilliant like biohacker mm -hmm. type person, um, and uh, and he we, we interviewed him at Reason for a for a video about about that about mm -hmm. you know ways to get around government stuff on medical issues and uh, that one that video got taken down. Um, oh, it did. Was, uh, yeah, we had a brush with uh, big tech censorship over that. Over and you totally accurate information. In you the should videos, have told uh, big tech that it was uh, it was libertarian satire. Like that, that like it sounds like libertarian satire, right. but it was very Make real. Your own vaccine. Very brilliant man. People should be able to put whatever they want they in their own bodies. Down. And uh, That's, I'd watch yeah. that. It, was, it wasn't just it wasn't just vaccine, about his story. He was a he was an expert for this uh, video, but uh, it gotcha. was a it was a bad call, very bad call on their part. I've been subjected to a bad call by them too, so um, it's well, not all good. I hope they put it back up. I right, I'll yeah. watch this. I, I'm not sure where you can watch it now. Maybe on like Pornhub or something. I think we <laughs> I think we had a gun video took down that we had to put it on Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only place we could... Uh, Last bastion of freedom. Last bastion of freedom for now. All right, we'll be back with more Rising right after this.